Hello everyone, Kezavern here today, and we are going to be talking about crafting. And not just crafting, but also how to uh, make sapphires from crafting. Um, now you can see I'm looking through a whole bunch of blueprints and crafting crystals. The main problem with trying to make sapphires from these is that if you post them in your shop, um, you cannot put them on the explorer market. So other players can't really see your crafting items unless you go out and you inform them that you're selling crafting items or you use some other system. Um, but the only way they'll show up on the Explorer is if you've turned your blueprints and crafting crystals into crafted items. Um, and then they will actually show up on the Explorer market and other people can, you know, find them much more easily. So, I'm going to be making some crafted items and putting them on the market, or at least showing what they would be on the market, so you guys can see uh, what it would look like to do that and some of the numbers behind it. So before I even make anything, um, I'm going to go to the market, and let's just look up some of the items I have there. We'll go by price as usual. So Grass Mohawk is something I usually have the most of. So there's one person who's selling lower than me. All of these ones at 288 are mine. Um, and then most of them are going to be higher. Yeah, they go up to 1,000. And let me just show you something. Do a quick calculator here. Um, so I usually don't buy that many crafting crystals. I buy them sometimes, but I only ever buy them at 5 each. Um, and a grass mohawk, as you'll see in a bit, it takes um, 30 total craft crafting crystals. So if I bought all of my craft crafting crystals, oh, that's not how to do it, <laughs> 5 times 30, um, it would be 150 sapphires for me to get all of the crystals for it. Um, and because I do enough of the runs with the dino thing, which is where the blueprints come from, I never have to buy the blueprints, so I always have a lot of them. Anyways, uh, I would make plenty of profit selling them at this number. Um, let's just assume I only bought, you know, 50 sapphires worth of the crafting crystals needed for this. I would still make a good profit by selling them at 288. Um, and so that's just one example. Now, the whole market for crafting stuff has changed a lot lately because Let's go back this way. There's now a huge number of items like this that are coming in the game. Um, and they're surprisingly not selling very high. <laughs> which is why I'm going to look them up before I make anything. Yeah, see, 25, 20 sapphires. It's not going to be worth putting your crafting crystals into. So I think I have at least one Voyager diary. So I could make one of those and try to sell it. It seems to be a little higher than most of the other ones. I could probably sell it for like 400. Let's see what else. I think I have... I don't know if I have the writing desk. So those ones are all selling better. I have at least one of these made. But it's kind of lower. Mm -hmm. 100. 300. And I'm just getting some rough pricing on this stuff. Um, so that's about what I thought it would be. And then I'm going to look at the new clothing too. So these crystal swords have pricing all over the place. So yeah, they go down to like a hundred almost. And... No, that one's not bad. And I'm not sure which all of these I have but I'm kind of keeping mental notes as I click through these to see which ones I should make. That amulet thing is pretty bad. I know I have a treasure crown, but yeah, they're down to 100. So probably not worth it for me to make that. Um, so now that I have an idea of what the prices are going to be if I make something, I can go make something. Oh, there's one I missed. Sorry. 
so I don't know why, but these things just seem to drive up costs like crazy. Um, the look, there's seven pages of them, which means the price should be super low, but instead they're still selling for well over a thousand. So apparently people really like this item, which means it's worth putting a lot of crafting crystals into. So I think that'll be the first thing we go and make. All right, and the crafting lab is in the Lost Temple of Zeos here. So you just come up to this way where you get this crafting symbol. Go inside. And we are at the crafting lab. There's usually a lot of people in here advertising all kinds of stuff. Um, you can see from all the text. Um, lots of buying and selling of crafting stuff. So like I said, because your stuff can't appear on the explorer market, um, the only other way to draw attention to it at your shops is by coming to a place like this and then advertising. So people are saying, you know, selling them for 10 sapphires and all this stuff. And like I said, I usually don't buy crystals unless they're for five each. There are ones like shadow crafting crystals that are obviously going to be worth a little bit more. Um, but for now, we're just going to look at crafting one of these guys. All right, so five rows of three. That's obviously 15 each, making a total of 45 crafting crystals for this one, unless it's different on the other ones. No, they're all 15 each. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's look at some of the color options I have. Obviously, the regular blues and reds and yellows are available for me. Um, I also have some brighter colors. Lush green wouldn't be bad. Um, but I'm not really crafting this for myself, so I have to consider what someone else might want to buy, because this is an item I'm looking to sell. Alright, I think I'm going to go with a whole lot of pink. And here's the thing about crafting. I could say I want to save some of these pinks and do a red, and it would only be 6% chance that I'd get a red, so I'd most likely get a pink and be able to save some. But I'm not really for gambling on that stuff, because if I did get a red, then I'd be wasting all that pink, and there is a slight chance that I would get that. So I just, I always do solid. I just go 100% on everything. Um, you might disagree with that, but that's just how I do it. <laughs> you can feel free to do it a different way if you would like. Um, so I'm going to do pink on the main layer. Which layer is this? Okay, so this is the under layer. Um, I'm going to go with this purple on the under layer. I'm guessing the third row here is going to be kind of the cuff area. Yeah. So pink, purple, and should I do regular red? I don't know if that wouldn't look bad. What else do I have? Uh, I'm not going to go super pink for that. Let's do red and see how it goes. The purple may have been a better choice, so I only have two colors, but let's just see what this looks like. I'm sure it'll sell for over a thousand anyway. Yeah, that's not bad. The only better way it might have turned out is if I did um, red, purple, and then pink. Um, but these two, it still looks like a good item altogether. And let's go ahead and make another item here. So here's that treasure crown that I want to stay away from. Let's see, the dino neck frills are still not selling because that event is either still going or very recently over, I'm not sure. All right, the Voyager Diary was one of the ones that was selling for around 500. So, oh, look at the, uh, the layout's different. So we have a 15, 5, and a 10. So I could do brown on the outside. What other book color might people want? Not that. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm almost tempted to go with a default color of crafting crystal, like... Mm, no. Dino 
green. I feel like it needs to be darker. Mm, that dragon scale might be alright. This would be a very um, high selling book if I chose to go with the, cra the shadow crafting crystals for it. But I'm not looking to pour all of my stuff into that. This would be a really good color, except I don't have enough of it. Um, yeah, I don't have any enough of any of those colors to really make it exactly what I want. So I'm going to have to go with something over here. And I might just go again with this pink and do another um, kind of a, a color that some girl, you know, more female hued uh, book just because I have enough crystals for it and because I think it's going to be different enough from some of the other things on the market. I can just use this lavender again. Alright, well apparently this is going to be a very similar color scheme to the first item I made. <laughs> and the last one... Okay, so it's the locket part. What would look good on that with the pink and the purple? See, what's cool about this spring blue is it almost looks kind of white. But I'm wondering if yellow wouldn't look better. Pink, purple, purple. I'm not going to do the red again. No. Yeah, I think... Um, I think this one might be the best choice here. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's a good item. Alright, someone's going to pay me over a thousand sapphires for that. And let's move on. Make another item here. Um, what shall we make? What else did I see? Oh. I'll make another one of these right now. So I have a bunch of these blueprints left over from when I bought them. Alrighty. And so you get the general idea of how this works. Again, um, let's just look. Alright, so let's look at an item that's more blended. And I'm not actually going to make this one. Um, so this one, you can see how the colors kind of go up and they fade into another one here. If you use up your crystals on these kind of items, you have to be aware it's going to come out a little bit blended looking. Um, all the colors are going to kind of mix together at the bottom. Um, a better example is actually, do I have one? I do. Uh, this is a worn item that does more blending, um, so it kind of fades up in to another color. Let's see, so that's the outside color, and then this one will kind of blend with the other two colors. So you have a, kind of an outside color, an inside, and then this one kind of blends into both of them. So it can create some pretty interesting items. Um, and I have two of them. Quit all that. Yeah, so I have these two. And you can see they're kind of a weird blended look to them. If you want to look like Bowser, this is your best bet. <laughs> Anyways, um... So why are these things so popular? Well, I guess it doesn't look that bad. Not for this character though. Alright, moving on. So now that I have those items, I can go back here and double check. Alright, so the closest thing to the color scheme I have is around um, 2000. So. I'm going to do around 1,800 here on this one. Alright, so looking at the Voyager Crafted Diary, um, mine's kind of a purple-pink combination. There is one here for 
500, but it's almost all pink. Um, I'm not going to try to put mine too high, so I'm just going to say 488 would be good. So we're going to do 488 on the diary, and then on the new book, um, I'm going to go with my usual 288. I think I'm maxed out on what I can sell here, so I'm going to get rid of these cactus armbands for the moment and put this up for the correct amount to sell since I checked it on the Explorer. That is the general gist of crafting and like I said you can go let's go back to the crafting lab real quick you can go here and get crafting crystals and blueprints from all these people who are trying to actively sell them. Oh, come on. All these people were screaming about all the stuff they were selling earlier. Now no one wants to sell. Let's see, selling... We'll just go here. This guy says he's selling blueprints. Get a rough idea of what blueprints go for. And blueprint prices um, do go all over the place because it's hard to uh, kind of see them from player to player. Um, so these Raptor Red Crafting Crystals are very overpriced in my opinion. I've seen them for five sapphires at a lot of places. The Shadow Crafting Crystals, however, are usually worth quite a bit more. Um, I don't know that they are worth 60 each. I think it's actually closer to 30, but... Um, that's not any kind of a fixed price. I'm just saying right now when I'm making this video, that's more often what I've seen them for. Okay, and all of these are also what I would call slightly overpriced. I'm sorry to the person's den I'm at. I don't mean to come here and say everything's overpriced, but um, especially these heart leg warmers. Those came from a Valentine's uh, kind of a thing, and it was not very hard to obtain them. Uh, the Voyager Diary... The furry arm cuffs. Eh. See, the thing is, we just made one of those and we're selling it for, you know, almost 2000 So I would definitely not say that's quite the value. I think these, once people realize how many of these there are in the game, the price is definitely going to go down a bit. Is that the last shop? Okay. Oh, and they have these trees, but it looks like they're full. Um, speaking of all this stuff, See, all these gifting things they have from um, Valentine's and Christmas, getting those gifting points um, is a great way to get blueprints and I will show you why. So we come over to the forest here, come on up to the little delivery owl guy. Albert and he has this little exchange thing with a stamp thing um, You just click on that and you can buy blueprints from him. He sometimes also sells crafting crystals, but that's a seasonal thing um, and so pet dragon wings and So here's the snowflake scarf some people try to sell these for quite a bit. I do not um, I've actually never found that either of these make money. This is the only one I found that consistently sells for, you know, a couple hundred sapphires. So I usually keep about ten of them. And I keep ten because I never know exactly when um, this menu is going to change. So I try to have ten for, you know, they go out of the store and I'll still have a few of them for later. And I do have quite a few of these points. You see I have almost 5,000 of these stamp points. It's because I've done a lot of gifting to other people and um, once they put crafting crystals or something valuable back in here I'll be able to buy out quite a few things and uh, use up all that to make more sapphires so hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two about crafting and how to actually make sapphires using your crafting crystals and blueprints to sell things as with all of my videos I do an alpha item giveaway um, if you are interested in getting a free alpha item, go ahead and leave a comment with your name so I can contact you if you're a winner. 
the first six people to comment correctly will get their name entered in a roll, and I'll contact you when that roll is done. If you've won before, you can of course not win again as I keep the list. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can also feel free to just leave those. Um, I realize I did not go over how to make the additional crafting crystals like purple and um, orange and the frost ones, but it's I think that's self-explanatory and there's a demo in the game as well. So hopefully you guys can figure that part of crafting out. It's really not that complicated. The most difficult part really is finding a way to make sapphires from it. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit about that in this video. Again, thanks for watching and you guys keep on jamming.